Uh, it felt good uh, just to finally be back out there again. Uh, I was kind of rusty, but one thing I, could, uh, I can tell out there is just the speed has slowed down for me. Like it's, I can, I'm continuing from last year. So the game, of the speed, I know it was just a preseason game, but it really has slowed down. I was able to uh, make make some things happen before it, uh, before it actually happened, like putting things in my mind that's, uh, and everything. So like it was a pretty good first game for me, well, even though it was a preseason. Do you think the speed is slowing down for you because of knowing the defense more or is just over a period of time? You know, that's naturally what happens. I think I think it's both, but mostly just knowing the defense, like the back of my hand. Uh, like I was saying in my last, my last interview, I know the defense literally like uh, 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 like uh, the back of my hand, so I don't I don't have to think before it ha before everything. So like now I just know uh, what adjustments I have to make. So now it's just let my athleticism just go and just play uh, play fast. At what point last year did you kind of get over the emotional part of missing the end of the season? Uh, I'll probably say probably just after my surgery, just uh, I had family, my, my family up here, my mom, my brother up here to help me get past that uh, probably that first week and everything. And after that first week, I just started going uh, just going back to meetings virtually, and then like when I was up in training room, just seeing that how I was how better I was becoming uh, daily. So like I just started to build that confidence back. Just knew I was gonna uh, come back uh, and like I was when I left. What was the surgery? Uh, it was an MCL repair. Okay. Well, yeah. So. Uh, um, when did you start to feel like 100 percent after that? Uh, probably like that, that ninth week, eighth and ninth week. Uh, it's like a 10 to 12 week uh, type of uh, recovery. But uh, toward that ninth week, I could t I, even though with the I had to, had to have the brace, I started to move it the officially, and I was able to like to uh, keep my speed, bring my speed back, and everything. That's a big part of my game. So uh, every, after I was able to do all that, I felt like I was able to uh, be 100 percent. I was able to, yeah, 100 percent. What have you seen from uh, Patrick Johnson? It seems like he's had a. Uh, uh, he's having a great camp. Uh, I've been mean, his pass rush has been great. He's been uh, good on the run stop. So like going into his second year, you can see that he's improved. You can see that his the game is starting to slow down for him as well. And I'm really excited for his second season. You've had now a couple injuries in the first few years. How do you kind of you know get to a mindset where you're not? Worried about that and happening again. Oh uh, well, now uh, I've uh, turned, like this whole off season. I have made it an emphasis of our, my recovery process. Like like now, every morning I get a massage. It's like touching different parts of my muscles. I make sure I can do like a 45 to minutes to an hour uh, prep just before practice. Making sure I'm just doing all those extra things. Uh, make sure I'm taking care of my body. And that's the emphasis that I didn't do last year. Like now I'm doing yoga like two times a week. I'm doing like the hot hot and cold tub all the time. The cryo. Make sure I'm doing everything. Uh, eat. Make sure my diet is correct. Uh, just make sure I do everything to prevent the soft tissue injury. Uh, uh, and so I won't have another one coming this season. Were those suggestions from anyone in particular, or did you kind of just? Do uh, it's it? some is from the screen coaches, and I, uh, from here, then I had some screen coaches that I know from college and everything. I talk to them when I go back to Colorado. Just emphasize, putting a lot of things. I also do the hyperbaric chamber sometimes, just making sure I'm doing every little thing that uh, that, I, that can, I can do to keep my body healthy for the season. What was your vantage point of that stuff that happened on, there, on, on the uh, far side of the field between Patrick and? Uh, uh, to be honest, I had uh, like I was actually about to catch an uh, interception that pick. So like when I caught it, uh, when I like missed the ball, I looked over and it was happening. But uh, one thing that coach had emphasized after practice was making sure that uh, if we don't don't take that aggression out on each other. So if we're gonna do anything, just make it go to the next play and just take uh, take aggression out on the field and not just throwing hands with the teammates. Is this part of the practice where time of the year practice where it feels like you know it's just frustration seeing guys each, each day or is it? Oh, well, to be honest, now it's just, just keep on getting better. You always you seeing something different, uh, different situations every single day. Uh, different plays might go in every single day. So, like, now you're just still just competing, stacking each day at a time because you never know what might happen. So, like, it don't, for me, it don't get tired. It don't get tiring. I'm just uh, looking forward to each day because I always have something to work on. So, I just keep on working on that. It's, it seemed like the defense was pretty aggressive to you. I mean, I think you guys recovered like three fumbles or something like that. I mean, is that something you guys are emphasizing I'm, as far as going, going for the ball? Oh, yeah, that's one thing. Uh, the, uh, our, we are emphasizing this year sorry about that but uh just making sure we get a lot of takeaways like we always talking about punching the ball out i'm always talking about going for script attempts uh making sure like we're going high and through uh the triangle when it comes to passes make sure we're just doing everything to take her take her uh take the ball away on defense and that's uh coach jg he's been honed on that and just making sure that we do that uh to the top of the tee you've been in some fights right in training camps and stuff for me, no, yeah. I have, I have never, never, I've never been in a fight. If I, if I get mad or anything, I'm just gonna go to the next play. Okay. One thing about me, I don't like, I don't like doing that to my teammates. Maybe yeah. in the game, I can't say the, say the same, but in the, uh, uh, at practice, I would like to take care of my teammates. If we, uh, we're gonna get into something, I'm gonna take it out on the field the next play. Nice. All right, okay. Thanks, guys. Did you think you timed it right? I honestly wasn't even thinking about the DPI. Uh, <laughs> felt like I got there good, good timing, broke the pass up, didn't look around, so I wasn't even thinking about a DPI or penalty on that play. Josiah Scott gets some time as safety right now. What have you seen with his adjustment to that position? Uh, I think we got a lot of talent in the room. Um, and coach has been doing a good job of, you know, moving guys around, working with versatility, 
um, you know, we're preparing for anything. You know, we always got to be next man up mentality. So, you know, whether the guy needs to step in at a position that, you know, you want there to be some familiarity at some point. So um, everybody's just doing a good job and doing whatever the coaches ask them to do um, and trying to have fun doing it and doing it to the best of their abilities. He kind of has like a non-typical size for safety. He's a little smaller. What, what allows him to play the position at that size? I think he's smart. Uh, he's physical. Um, a lot of times, you know, there's there's ideas of a prototypical this and a prototypical that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just football. Um, you know, we try to have guys who are football players who can do multiple things. And um, I think he's doing a good job of just accepting and embracing whatever coaches ask him to do. Yeah, the linebackers this year it seems like there's kind of been an influx of talent. Uh, what do you make of it, and how much can that make a difference for the defense? Um, I think it's huge. Um, I think it's huge to have you know talent throughout all the positions. Um, from front to back, uh, defense. I mean, the uh, linebacker group been doing a great job with a lot of intensity. Um, TJ has done a good job of just continuing developing this game, continuing to grow, and then uh, additions that we have, younger guys continue to develop in the offseason, and guys like Kazir, who we just got, um, really just coming in, learning the system, and just playing fast, playing with a lot of energy, and just trying to get better each day. And you've got experience, obviously, playing for Jonathan Gannon, but. What do you think it does for the entire defensive unit, you know, that, that he heads into year two, um, you know, versus last year with everything he tries to do? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, any anytime you can continue to gain experience, um, that's going to be key. You know, learning from old situations, uh, how to handle different situations, looking at things that you can always do better, um, be able to self-evaluate yourself. There's always an opportunity to grow. So from a player standpoint, coach's standpoint, um, you know, getting your second go round, you know, with your system, with the players that you have, um, bringing in some new players to fit different roles. Uh, I think there's always an opportunity to continue to grow and continue to improve. And everybody's just on that same trade and just trying to get better. You guys have the joint practices coming up with the Browns. What can you guys as safeties take away from those practices in the game? Uh, I think there's another level, you know, physicality that we can that we can uh, that we can bring. Um, obviously, out here we compete against each other. You know, there's always the physical play, but you know, they're your teammates. You're trying to take care of each other a little bit. So it's always exciting when you can go against somebody else with a different color helmet and you know, kind of turn up a little bit more. Um, so to be able to go in and get those joint practices are very valuable and very competitive as well.